to a long overdue episode of Ask Brit Shit. I don't know why I did this, but instead of grabbing a glass and pouring whiskey into it, I grabbed what's left of this maker's mark, which really isn't a lot. It's like a little, a little baby shot. So this is going to be a thing that happens. Don't judge me. Go ahead and judge me. It's all good. My parents still love me. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Ah, oh, oh, I have a cut in my lip. <laughs> Cannot recommend with <whis> drink. <laughs> I can't recommend drinking whiskey when you have a cut on your lip. It's not, it's not fun. Our first question comes from Rob McManus. I think I said that right. Uh, do you know the Muffin Man? Have I answered this? I feel like I've answered this. Uh, I do not know the Muffin Man, but I really wish I did because he is, is, no, I'm wrong. I was going to say because he's made of muffin and I like muffins and I would probably eat him, but I believe the Muffin Man is just a guy who delivers muffins. So, no, I don't know him, but if he wants to bring me free muffins, I'd be cool with that. TJ! Is that a J or an I? I can't tell because a little squiggly. Microsoft Word squiggly is in the way, so I'm going to assume it's a J. So TJ Whitting. Whitting. Are you witty, TJ Whitting? TJ asks, what is your favorite RPG? <sighs> That's a doozy of a question. I, I don't even think I'm prepared mentally, physically, emotionally to answer that. My favorite, favorite RPG. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh, that's, that's, that's a tough one. My first, my first gut instinct is to say Earthbound because it's fucking Earthbound. But then I want to say Breath of Fire 3, but then I want to say Final Fantasy 9, but then I want to say Dragon Age Origins. And then it just goes downhill from there. So I don't, I don't know if I can answer this. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for that kind of pressure and or commitment. Mm -hmm. Ah, I forgot about that cut. Adam Taylor's question is, do you like gaming when you're drunk? Uh, when I'm buzzed. I enjoy gaming when I'm buzzed. I don't like being drunk. Being drunk to me is just, I mean, it can be fun. It was fun when I was younger, but now that I'm old and 28 years old, it's, uh, yeah, I get sleepy. I typically wake up with a headache hangover. So I like gaming while buzzed because that's fun. And I actually think that my skills improve and maybe that's just <laughs> the alcohol speaking when I am buzzed, but especially games like Guitar Hero, you know, back in my day, I, I lived in a college town, and so, you know, there'd be, like, Guitar Hero parties all night, and after, like, a couple beers of Keystone, was it Keystone Ice? Like, the cheap shit that everyone would drink? I think it was Keystone Ice. Uh, anyway, just, I would get so good at it, and I'd be like, ah, and I would be really, really good, and then I would cross that limit, and then I would get into the drunk territory, and then I just sucked. So... Anyway, does that answer your question? I have to be tipsy though uh, when I'm playing scary games because I can't handle them otherwise. And I do like to be borderline drunk when I'm playing games like Layers of Fear or anything like that. Because again, I, my head, I can't handle it. It's trauma. The next question comes from Ballsy Joseph. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. Because if I did, your name is fucking awesome. Favorite video game and how long have you played in one sitting? Ah, what's up with you guys and these like super intense like life-shattering commitments you want me to make. My favorite game, I can't answer that. There's too many, but I can speak upon how long I have sat at one game. I kind of. So recently I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Well, I'm done with the game now, but I was doing like 10 to 12 hours at a time uh, playing that game because I loved it so much and it was fan fucking fantastic. And my review just went live for that. So if you're interested, you should go look at that because I have a lot of good things to say about that game. And I won't, I won't deter too much from this. Anyway, um, so lately it's been about 12 hours of Mass Effect Andromeda, Andromeda. But before that, I, I'm pretty sure I broke that record. Oh. Okay, so the game I'm talking about is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance and Dark Alliance 2. I played that game with my best friend, my best friend, uh, from start to finish in one day. And I know it's not a very long game, but we messed around a lot. I'm pretty sure we played that game for like 15 or 16 hours. God, I ramble so much. So yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> it's somewhere in all that garbled, garbled jibber jab is an answer. Our final question comes from Brandon Jultzlub. What was your favorite part of The Last Guardian? I haven't played it. I have not played The Last Guardian, so I can't speak upon this. 
And it's fucked up because I have the collector's edition still boxed and sealed and all that and I really want to get to it but it's just there's so many games coming out like Persona 5 and then the new Kingdom Hearts collection came out and I've never played Kingdom Hearts so I really really want to get into that. I still want to play Horizon, I want to play Nier, um, Harvest Moon, um, what's it called, A Wonderful Life just re-released on PlayStation 4 and so I really want to play that again and there's so many games and I'm still playing Zelda. so. I don't know when I'll ever get to The Last Guardian, but eventually it would be nice. Well, friends, that'll do it for this episode of Ask Brit Shit. Sorry to cut it short, but I have to get my booty on an airplane. Again, story of my life. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate your eyeballs and your, and your mouse clicks and your comments and your overall awesomeness. Is this what people do? Is this the motion of like, ha? Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, guys, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.